Hey there everyone, just a quick video from the Royal Society here in London about Mersen Primes. You've heard of Mersen Primes before, we've made lots of videos about them. But the name Mersen comes from Marin Mersen, and this is the book where he first listed them. This is why they're called Mersen Primes, because he listed them in here. Let me show you. Here we go. There's the cover page. Cogitata Physico-Mathematica? Excuse my Latin. It's all in Latin, unfortunately, which uh, doesn't help. But here's the crucial page. Here's the page where he first mentions them. I'll highlight some of the text for you so you can have a closer look. So, of course, Mersenne primes take the form 2 to the n minus 1, and for certain n's they work. The exponents for which they work that Mersenne listed were 2, 3, 5, 7, 13, 17, 19, 31, 67, 127, and 257. That's as high as he went. He wouldn't have been able to compute some of them, so I don't know how he knew they were right, but there they are. And of course, unfortunately, that list was wrong. 67 and 257 don't belong on that list. They actually don't spit out Mersenne primes. And he actually missed a few numbers as well. He should have put 61, 89, and 107 in there as well. So Mersenne hadn't cracked everything. He hadn't really proved much. He hadn't really done all the work yet, but he was the first person to be listing those numbers and noting them as significant. And for that reason, they're called Mersenne Primes. And it's always really great to see sort of the original documents, the old books, the things where these first came from. If you love all this old stuff, original material from science and mathematics, you should watch some of our videos on a channel called Objectivity that I film mainly here at the Royal Society with Keith Moore and Rupert Baker, other people from the library. There's some clips on the screen at the moment to give you a little bit of a taste. This is one of the most juicy rows that has ever happened in the history of science. In my hands, the keys to those chests. If you are not excited right now, Seriously, you are watching the wrong YouTube channel. If you'd like to see more from Objectivity, have a look at the links on the screen and down in the description. And in the meanwhile, I'll uh, see if I can work on my Latin. It does, yeah. <laughs> like last time, it's the same deal, folks. If these fake keyholes were so standard, why would they even bother with them? Yeah, you'd kind of think that, that people who wanted to steal things would get the idea quite quickly. So this is Apollo 15 sample 15415. It's the Genesis rock. 